The ARCS model of motivational design was a theory developed by Dr. John Keller in 1983. According to Dr. Keller, the ARCS model of motivational design suggests that an instructional designer can routinely improve a learner's motivation to learn by focusing on activating the learner's attention, the relevance of the content to the learner, the learner's confidence, and the learner's satisfaction. Attention. The first step in instructional design for motivation is to capture the learner's attention, either through perceptual arousal or inquiry arousal, using surprise, novel, engaging, and incongruous events at the start of a lesson will create perceptual arousal in learners and captivate their attention. Stimulating curiosity, wonder, and questioning by stating challenging problems and questions will create inquiry arousal in learners and capture their attention through intellectual or cognitive engagement. To activate relevance, you have to find ways to connect the content to the learner's world. This ensures that the learning process is useful to the learner. Relevance helps connect the content to the real world that the learner has lived and experienced. You can help establish relevance by using concrete language and examples that the learners will be familiar with. To establish relevance, you need to consider how the content connects to the learner's goals, motives, and past experiences. Confidence. Learners have to feel that they can succeed. If a learner perceives the content as being too difficult, they may not even try to learn the content, or they may not try their hardest because they expect to fail. If the difficulty is too high, motivation will decrease. The content has to be organized in such a way so that the learner feels they have the skill and the ability to accomplish the task and understand the content. Lastly, satisfaction. Learning should be rewarding and satisfying for the learner. Satisfaction comes at the end of the learning, uh, the content, as the learner meets the goals, objectives, as well as their own personal or individual needs uh, that they've met through the learning. Satisfaction can also come from achievement and praise. So some examples of ARCs in practice could include LinkedInLearning.com, formerly known as Lynda.com. LinkedIn Learning provides over 15,000 online courses on subjects related to technology and industry. You can learn how to analyze data, develop an app, or leverage digital storytelling and multimedia to communicate a message. LinkedIn Learning courses are designed to activate learners' attention through active participation in several hands-on activities. They also provide variability and modality in how the content is delivered and presented by using engaging videos. And also by providing specific examples of how and where to use the skills and content in the real world. In the images here, you can see an example of how it, uh, LinkedIn Learning uses video to engage learners. You can see how there are hands-on tasks on the right. You can also see how it taps into the notion of confidence by providing clear learning objectives of what learners will be able to do. And you can also see how learners can set goals uh, based on how frequently they're using this content. Another example of ARCs in practice could be Prodigy, the online math tool. Prodigy is a research-based online mathematics platform that gamifies the learning of mathematics for younger learners. The platform assesses the level learners are at uh, with their number sense and numeration skills and then differentiates content for learners based on that initial diagnostic assessment. Prodigy activates satisfaction by extrinsically rewarding students with in-game content and micro-credentials. They can learn, earn content for their characters and they can buy new clothing and equipment, etc. for the avatar that they have in the game world. Prodigy also activates intrinsic motivation by allowing students to set their own goals and seeing growth in their mathematical proficiency. Students can pick a topic area and set a goal and a target for what that goal is going to achieve and then they can track process towards achieving that goal. So when should a designer use the ARCS model of motivational design? Essentially, the ARCS model should be used as a lens or framework for designing and reflecting on instruction. It should be used before planning uh, as a framework to guide the components and the tasks that you're setting out. It should be used during instruction to see if you are meeting those elements. Are you actually gaining the attention of your learners? Are you connecting with them and establishing relevance 
and are they being confident in learning that content? So it's also a tool to reflect in the moment when you're instructing. And lastly, it should be used at the end of the teaching and uh, learning cycle to reflect on how well you actually achieve those components. The checklist that can be used to assess how well your learning content uh, involves the ARCS model is now provided. The first checklist here focuses on questions that help you garner how well you're gathering the learner's attention. The key question here is the content catching and holding the learner's attention throughout. There are also subsequent questions uh, that you can focus on for going deeper with attention. The next checklist is for establishing relevance. The key question you should consider for relevance is why should the learner care about this content and how does it connect to the learner's world? And then there are a series of questions here that you could use to assess whether or not you are making the connection to the learner's world and to their needs and their values. Next is a checklist for confidence. How well are you establishing confidence for the learner? The key question here is does the learner feel that they can succeed in learning this content? The last checklist focuses on the area of satisfaction. And the key question here is, does the learner feel good about their accomplishment in learning this content? Thanks very much for your time, and I hope you have a great understanding of